For years, Eorzea has labored to find a solution to the primal problem, without success. Any hope that tempering could be reversed faded long ago. I myself had given it up as impossible. Given up on the tempered and the light corrupted alike. They were problems to be tolerated or else eliminated, I believed. And to think otherwise was pure naivety, childishness even. But Alize refused to give up. She struggled and she struggled and her efforts were rewarded with a way to bring back Halric. And now countless others may no longer be beyond salvation. However much we bicker, I have the greatest respect for my sister. Had I half her stubbornness, nay, her unwillingness to accept the status quo, I would be a far better person, a far better scion. I should, I know. Yet, despite my good intent, I have the feeling that I would only succeed in incurring her ire. Alize, are you all right? The treatment. Did it work? Oh, I'm so glad to see you all. Delighted, happy, glad. Gaboo! This time, my mind was filled with thoughts of Great Father Titan. But I never forgot about Mother and Father. Always, they were in my heart. Constantly, ever, always. So I tried to focus on their faces. Theirs and yours. Alize's and everyone's. And I found that I could remember. One thing, then another, and another! Your hopes reached Gabu. They helped him to hold on. I'm so proud of you, Gabu. I couldn't have done it without you, Alize. Can you help the others too? Cure them, heal them, help them? Yes, we can. All of them. <clears throat> Without wishing to dampen the mood, I feel compelled to add certain caveats regarding the viability of the treatment for general use. As you know, reversing the effects of tempering demands a profuse amount of ether. And while Alize was able to heal Gabu alone, I fear the same will not be true for those who exhibit more advanced symptoms. Moreover, the treatment's effects are limited to the soul. It offers no succor to those whose very flesh has been altered through prolonged exposure to a primal's influence. All of which is to say, that we cannot save everyone. Maybe we can't, or maybe we can. 
No one gave us a hope of saving Gabu, and yet here we are. We must find a way to treat as many as possible. Then, the next logical step would be to produce a veritable army of porkses, would it not? Granted, it seemed a simple enough process in the first, but I suspect it will be different here in the source. Not that I am any authority, of course. Yet there is an authority on familiars to whom we may grudgingly turn. She's stubborn, haughty, eccentric, irascible, laconic, annoying. And her name is Master Matoya, the real one. I have to go now, Gabu, but the people here will look after you, all right? And I promise to come and visit you again soon. All right. Thank you, Alizé. Thank you.